Coach, and let's talk about that quarterback position. All eyes on it tonight. Neil, if you would have asked me last week to name the best quarterback game to watch in the state of Canada to come right here, you had number one in total offense in the Sunflower League and Brad Strauss from Lawrence. Frank, what are you doing? Someone clogged the shitter. Go clean it up. Frank? Huh? Oh, what's up, Mark? Frank, I'm not sure this is working out. You're constantly slacking on the job. You're always sleeping in the janitor's closet, watching football on your phone, or watching the football team practice. What? I've never done that. You need to stop, Frank. I'm getting angry complaints from parents and you need to quit giving the coach these. I gave you this job because we knew each other. You're letting me down. Whoa, Mark, slow down. Knew each other? We played on the same team. Same, Frank, you were a third string punter and we didn't even have a second string punter. Also, you never played a single game. Still gotta wear the sweet Letterman jacket. Mark, just give me one more chance. Uh, I don't. Oh, sweet, thanks. Uh, well, I'm gonna clean every inch of this school extra good tonight. So Mark was bitching at me again today. Some bullshit about how I wasn't a varsity player and that my playbook isn't good enough for the team. I know more about football than anybody. I was a backup punter. That sucks, man. Go figure. The only person around here who understands me is you. That's why I eat lunch with you. Thanks, I appreciate that. I mean, where did you get off telling me how to do my job? Well, he is your boss, right? And he did just give you a job, I'm sure, but Maybe if you do your job better, he wouldn't, he'd quit bitching at you. Well, you know, you're a stupid kid.
Hey Frank, where'd you come from? Home. Dude, it's like one o'clock. Shouldn't you have been here by now? That's not what's important. This is what's important. I'm gonna get myself out of this rut and get my name in this book. I'm gonna put my own little twist on a bunch of different little stunts. And uh, I mean, longest punt, that's too easy. I'll do it in clown shoes, bingo. It makes sense, Frank. Like, what if you do the record for most powdered donuts and throw in some sushi? That way, even if you fail, you're at least creative. Dear Mr. Acosta, we are pleased to inform you that a representative from the generic Book of World Records will be sent to your town this Sunday. The representative will supervise your attempt to break a world record. Yeah! Wow! High five! But wait, there's one more record, Longest Kiss.
Dear Mr. Acosta, in the over 100 year history of the generic book of world records, our staff has never seen anyone fail at quite as many record attempts as you. This special moment has drawn the attention of our board members. For such a monumental feat, we have decided to award you the record for most failed world record attempts. Enclosed, you will find a certificate of accomplishment. Your name will forever be listed with other record breakers in our book as well. Sincerely, Debbie Perry, Generic World Records Senior Representative.